Welcome to Abide Calvary Chapel Osaka's online worship service. Abide Calvary Chapel Osaka no Ondain Dei Haini Yoko So. Today we're going to talk a little bit from the book of Psalms. Kyo wa shihen kara o inashi shimasu. We'll be starting a new series in the book of Psalms actually. Atara shi shihen o toshite shirizo manabitai to omoimasu. But first let's have a word of prayer. Mazu oinori shimasu. Kondo wa ego de oinori shimasu. Message no ato nihongo de oinori itashimasu. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for the privilege of serving and the opportunity to look at your word. And we just pray that your Holy Spirit would be very present and lead and guide in each and everything. We pray that you are watching over all of those people who are watching now or who see this video later and just bless them with your sweet presence, Lord, and protect them and guide them and just be with them in this difficult time and always. Lead in the message that it might be pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. The book of Psalms is a beautiful book. It can be a great help for the believer's walk and for the believer's life. When we're struggling with something or feeling down, we can find in the book of Psalms that other people have felt the same way and that God has been with them and helped them. Nanika kanashi koto ga atte, nanika muskashi nayami goto ga areba, mo shie no hiraite, o mukashi kara hitubitu wa onaji kimochi natte koto, tsugu wakarimasu, so shite kami samu wa sono hito taskete kurusate, tashi tachi mo mamote kurusaru koto ga arimasu. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, what's the structure of the Book of Psalms. Mazu kono shie no shomotsu, doni yo na kozo ga arimasu. Well, the Book of Psalms has actually got five books within it. Mazu sono shihen toyu no wa, sono shomotsu no naka ni itutsu no shomotsu ga arimasu. Shihen no go sho kozo to iemasu. We can say it's the five book structure of Psalms. And it's possible that these were arranged to follow the same model as the book of Moses, the five books of Moses. Kore wa mo osoraku mose no gosho ni motosuite kozo sarete to kangairare mas. Now, not everybody agrees with that opinion, but I think many scholars do. Now, shingaksha wa mino wa sono ike ni natte iru wake de wa nai desu de mo okudo. What would that look like, Donio Nakoto Deska? Well, first of all, if we think of the subject or the topic of humankind and model through where the personal experiences of men and women are and through where uh, humankind came from to begin with. Mazu ninge no koto kangaite, kojin teki no taikin, mata ninge wa doko kari kite ka, donio na sekatsu shite iru ka. それはもうその先に書かれているでしょう。また、詩編一編から四十一編までよく描かれています。Well, if we think of this, we discover that this condition of humankind and our origins is spoken about in the book of Genesis, and it's laid out very clearly there. And we also find that as we read Psalms 1 through 41, we find the same sort of things there. Now, not every psalm is about that topic, of course, even within that section, but we find that the majority have something to say on that topic. Mochira, sono shomotsu no i pin kara yonju ichi made, sono naki ni mo shin wa subete wa sono yona koto wa kakate te inai desu kiri de mo, oku no bae wa mo ningen no koto ni kanshite nane ka anaberu tokoro ga arimasu. 2番目は解放。それは出エジプトに似ていて、42から72編までです。And next we could talk about deliverance, and of course this follows after the book of Exodus, and that's what we find as the major topic in Psalm 42 to 72.3 番目は礼拝、また聖女、聖なるところですね。それはレビキに似ているところがあって、詩編、
73から89までです。And then we have the idea of worship or maybe of the holy place. And that, of course, we find in the book of Leviticus where they construct the tabernacle. And this we find in Psalm 73 to 89 is a major and recurring topic. And then we have the fourth book within Psalms is the reign of God, or some people would say the wanderings in the desert because they travel a lot, but always under God's direction. And that's in the book of Numbers, and that's Psalm 90 through 106. Gonba me to saigo wa kancha no koto desu, sanbi no koto mo arimasu. Sare wa shihin 107 kara 150 made desu. Shin meiki ni nitte iru to ieru. And the fifth and last book is Thanksgiving, and maybe some praise we could say there, especially also. But it sort of follows after the book of Deuteronomy, and it is Psalm 107 to 150. Zen tai teki ni kono shihin no shomutsu wa mo omukashi no shinrin no sanbika deshita. So shite hever I go. この詩編の名前は、テヘリン文。それは、プレイズと言います。サンビというのですね。その意味です。And in Hebrew, this whole book, the book of Psalms, is called the Tehillim. And it means praises, which makes sense because it's the book of praises or the hymnal of the Old Testament、uh, temple era. So that's the overall structure of Psalms. Now, what is a psalm? シーンというのは何でしょうかシーンはヘブライ語の詩であります。Of course, a psalm is a Hebrew poem. And it can be sung in many cases, and they were sung in the temple. But also you can just recite them. もちろんそのシーンは歌えることもあって、新人でよく歌われていたようです。そしてそれを朗読することもリズムがあって、詩的の印象を受けると思います。Or if you just read it out loud, a lot of times you'll find that there's a rhythm, you know, and you can feel the poetry underlying it. もちろん、もうそれは翻訳されて、日本語に直したり、英語に直したり、もともとのヘブライ語のリズムが崩れてしまう場合もあります。でも、聖書の役者たちはできるだけリズムを保存していたいました。The rhythm sometimes disappears or is lost in the English or Japanese translations.、Uh, but as much as possible, I know the translators try to preserve it. And of course, like most poetry, much of Psalms is not literal. The wording and the imagery used are often simile, metaphor, allegory, personification, every kind of literary style or tool that you can imagine, literary devices. そして多くの場合意味は文字通りではありません。これは多分どの言語の詩でもそうです。詩編はしばしば、類似、比喩、例え、擬人化などを使用しています。文学のすべてのいろいろ道具を使ってそれが書かれているのです。例えば、詩編十八編の見たら、詩は私の岩とあります。でも、主なる神様は岩ではありません。文字通りはおかしいでしょでも、文字通りじゃなくて、イメージとして、すごく意味深いです。印象的です。So we see this, and like in Psalm 18, immediately we see the Lord is my rock. And of course, the Lord God is not a rock literally, but as an image, it's very powerful and leaves a deep impression. 96編は、木を歌いとあります。木は声はないですからおかしい。文字通りにすれば。しかし、それは大きな賛美すべてのところに賛美が捧がれているイメージとして素晴らしいです。And in Psalm 96, the trees are commanded to sing. Though trees don't actually have voices that can sing, and although God could do a miracle and make it so, It's more likely that it's just an image of universal praise and proclamation of God's word. 
of everybody singing out in worship to God. And it's a very powerful and wonderful image. Kyuju hapen de wa moro moro no kawa yo te o uchi narase to arimasu. Tomo kawa ni wa te wa arimasen. In Psalm 98, it says, let the rivers clap their hands. But of course, rivers don't literally have hands. But it's a wonderful image, the most subarashi image, this name. So, she wa kono yona ikate yoku arimasu ne. Shihen wa sono onaji mono desu. And of course, poems always have this kind of imagery and this way of writing. And of course, Psalms is the same. So let's look at Psalm 117 and see a couple of things about how Hebrew poetry does work. Kono Hebrai go no shi wa doni yona koto ga aru ka, choto mite mimasho. Sono tami ni shi en hyaku ju nane hen o mimasu. Mazu ego de setsume shite, ato wa nihongo de. Well, first of all, I want to draw your attention to something called an inclusio. Psalm 117 begins and ends with the same words. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. That marks the beginning and the end of the passage that the uh, author is thinking of or trying to describe. Next, I want to point out what's called parallelism. If you look uh, at the first line and second line of verse 1, praise the Lord and extol him really has a very similar meaning. And all you nations and all you peoples has a similar meaning. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly the same meaning, but clearly there's a close relationship in those meanings. So those two lines are said to be in parallel. And then in verse 2, we also have parallelism. Great can be said to be in parallel with endures forever, about how wonderful God is. And his love can be in parallel with the faithfulness of the Lord. Both things, things both uh, words saying something uh, wonderful about God. So we have this kind of parallelism, uh, verse 1, line 1, line 2 in parallel, verse 2, line 1, line 2 in parallel. Sometimes it goes on for three or four lines in parallel. Now here we have parallelism with repetition of the same idea twice. But you could also have it in contrast with opposite ideas in line 1 and line 2. And you'll see that if you read through Psalms. So, kono tokoro de wa...平行法とあります。ね。新約の17編は素晴らしいデイです。この平行法。ヘブライ語の詩は平行法を使っています。さあ、それで、この1節を見たら最初の行は世界中の人々。あ、2番目、その行は全ての人々とあります。同じような意味
進む日ではありませんしそして、青の数を得ることもありません。ヘブライ語の詩。それは日本語ですね。俳句は17音があります。ヘブライ語はそのことじゃなくて、意味を繰り返して言う。また対照的に意味は、あ書くのはもうその詩と形となっています。So, as we go on, you know, we're saying, you know, in English, you know, we have rhyming poems. In Japanese, they count syllables. A haiku always has 17 syllables. But Hebrew poetry uses this kind of parallelism. Now, here it is in the original Hebrew. これは言語のヘブライ語ですね。So, このところは、so, もうあヘブライ語を読む人なら、その最初の言葉と最後の言葉を同じになっているとすぐ分かります。それはそのインクリジオ。これを私は朗読したらおかしいですね。私の発音は本当に悪いですので、それでユダヤ人に頼みましょう。Now, I could read this out, but my pronunciation is really horrible, so I don't want to do that and just embarrass myself and everyone. Instead, let's get a Jewish person to read it for us. Hallelujah, Adonai, Kol Goyim, Shabbehuhu, Kol Haumim, Tigavar, Alenu Hasdo, Vemet Adonai, Leolam, Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much. Let's move on to Psalm 1. 詩編に行ってのいてみましょう。この詩編はもちろんこの詩編の全体的の導入の言葉ですね。Introduction です。また注意の言葉であって、約束も教えもこの詩編にあります。So this first Psalm, Psalm 1 of course, is the first Psalm in the book and it's an introduction. It's also got a warning and it's got a promise and it's got some teaching. A lot of good stuff in there. The author and the date are unknown. 誰がいつ頃これを作ったかは不明です。残念ながら。でもどのような詩ですか詩服の詩品です。It's a psalm of beatitude or a beatitude psalm if we ask what kind of psalm it is. So let's take a look at verse 1. 一節はこうなっていますね。Blessed is the man. 書き出しはいかに幸いなことか。それは私服ですね。Who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. 神に逆らう者の計らいに従って歩まず。罪ある者の道にとどまらず。傲慢の者と共に座らず。これをよく見たら、もう先にいた平行法、産業まで続いていますね。If we look here, we see that the parallelism continues for three lines in parallel instead of just two. Walk, stand, and sit in the, with the wicked, the sinners, or the mockers. Kami ni sakara mono, tsumi aru mono, goma no mono, sore to tomori, ayumazu, toromorazu, suwarazu. There's also a sort of progression, it's not exactly the same thing. Walking might be only for a moment. Standing might be for a few minutes, but sitting down might be for hours. So you see, the person is getting worse as they go in their behavior. そしてまあちょっと進んでいる感じもありますね。一緒に歩むことはもう数秒だけになる場合もあります。とどまるはもっと長い。座るはもっと長いですね。それはもう悪いところからもっと悪いところへ進んでいくのです。それは絶対しないでというメッセージがあります。注意ですね。And of course it's telling us, don't do those things, you know. But if we look at it, there's another part of it here that we notice, and that's the word counsel, the counsel, the way or the seat in English. もう一つはこの計らいの言葉を気づきましょう。When you Have problems when you need advice, who do you ask to help you? Nanaka Monday ga ate, Nanaka Nayami ga ate, Dari to Sodan Shimaska, Dari ni Kikimaska, Jogin ga Hitsio no Toki. So in this song, one of the meanings here is don't ask the wicked people for help. Don't get advice from the wicked people. Warui hito kara, taske o negao koto jinakte, Jogin no. Uh, 頼むことないようにこれはこの注意ですね。気をつけてくださいという意味ですね。
So who should you go to for advice? Who should you go to for help? Ma, warui hito wa dame da tara, dari ni tanomi masho. Dari ni jogi no nagai masho. Well, we have a little problem here. Chotto monda ga arimasu ne. Jitsu wa subete no ningen wa chotto warui tokoro ga arimasu ne. The little problem is that really all people have a little bit of bad in them. None of us are, per are perfect. Kanpeki no ningen wa hitori mo imasen. So where can we go? Let's look at verse 2. He says, o mimashou. Shu no oshie o ai shi, sono oshie o hiru mo yoru mo kuchi izu samugito. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. So, jogen ga hitsuyo desu. Mondai ga aru toki, atashi tachi wa shu o yori dokuro ni shite, shu no mikotubo o yori dokuro ni suru no desu. So, where do we go? We go to the Lord and to the Word of God, and we find our help and our advice there because we can rely on it. Now, when the author wrote this, he's probably referring mostly to the book of Moses because a lot of the rest of the Old Testament even, and certainly the New Testament, was not written, not available yet. その申し訳ないのご紹介だけでした。you know, maybe the book of Samuel or the book of Job was available to this person as well as the actual books of Moses, but mainly he's probably talking about the books of Moses. So let's go on and look. What happens in verse 3? Sunsets. He is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Isn't that just a beautiful little verse here? You know, that righteous man, he's like a tree planted by streams of water. Let's notice that the tree was planted. It didn't just grow there by chance. And I think we can say the Lord God, you know, he probably planted that seed there for that tree to grow in that place. And the streams of water talk about how it's always sustained. The water of life is always there for it. So the fruit comes, and he prospers. So this is really a wonderful image, you know, of the blessed man. An image of the, the blessed man who, who lives in obedience to the word, who loves the word of God in its ways. Now we get a contrast. Tsugiwa taisho desu. Kami ni sakarao mono wa so de wa nai. Kare wa kazi ni fuki toba sareru momigara. Kami ni sakarao mono wa sabaki ni taezu. Sumi aru mono wa kami ni shitigao hito no tsudoe ni taenai. Kore wa orui hito desu ne. Aku no hito desu. Not so the wicked, they are like chaff that the wind blows away. 
Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. So you have this image, like chaff, momigara no yoni, fukito barasariru, blown away, mo inaitis. They're just not there anymore. The judgment comes and the wicked are gone. Sabaki ga kuru toki ni sakura mono wa mo inakudaimasu. And we see here the idea of an assembly of the righteous. Kami ishtigao hito no tsudoi toyu image mo arimasu. Sere wa shu o shinji shu to tomo ni ayumu hito desu ne. This is those who believe in the Lord and walk with the Lord. So here's our last verse, verse 6. Roku says, Kami ishtigao hito no michi wo shu wa shite ite kurusaru. Kami ni sakurao mono no michi wa for the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. And here we see that contrasting parallelism that I mentioned before. The first line and the second line of this verse contrast what happens with the righteous what happens with the wicked. So if we take time to read this psalm carefully, we'll discover many more things. But I'm just going to show you one example. You know, as I read this psalm, I start to think of all the other teaching in the Word. It reminds me of various verses. For example, that verse, uh, verse 2 in Psalm 1 here, his delight. his delight is in the law of the Lord, reminds me of Romans 7, 22, I delight in God's law. Paul is picking up this idea, and I don't know whether Paul was looking at this psalm when he wrote uh, his letter to the Romans, or whether he just plucked it out of memory or just came up with it then, but we see that the same things that appear in Psalms will appear throughout the New Testament. Many, many things are repeated and just laid on becoming deeper and deeper teaching. So kore wa shito paolo wa roma no shinto e no tegami o kaite toki ni kono shihi no yonde sore o kaite ka wakarimasen kere demo tabun paolo wa sore o mo kokoro no soko mari sono shihi no yomi kondi ite sore de itsumo sono kotoba wa kuchi ni arimashita. そして、私たちは詩篇を読みつつ、もう新約聖書も同じ時に読めば、それはもう二重の深い教えが出てくると思います。いろいろ解くので、祝福が与えられます。And be a blessing to read this along with the New Testament. So, if you want to, you could do some homework. It's a free participation, of course. You don't have to. ご希望の方は自由参加ですね。Compare the verses that I collected below. この幾の成功を比較して考えましょう。詩篇約十七篇とローマ十五章八節から十一節。詩篇一章三節とヨハネ十五章五節またローマ8章20節、5節と、またい、3章12節。最後にこの詩編第1の全てをまたいの5章3節から12節に比べてみたら素晴らしいと思います。So compare Psalm 117 to Romans 15, 8 through 11, Psalm 1, verse 3, to John 15, 5, and Romans 8, 28. 
Psalm 1, 4 and 5 to Matthew 3, 12, and Psalm 1, the whole thing, with the Beatitudes in Matthew 5, 3 through 12. Thank you for listening. Kite kuru te arigatou gozaimasu, oinori shimasu. Let's pray in this time in Japanese. Yes, Christ no chichi naru kamisama. Tashi tachi wa anato o sanbi shimasu, omete taimasu. Anato wa irai no okata. Hoku no shikufuku wa taite kudasaru okata desu. Kyo kono hanashi ni kite kuru te hito bito naru ini.特別に祝福を与え、日々生活の中でお守り、お導きください、祝福してください、助けてください。特に今頃はこの新型コロナの問題があって、人の健全のお守りくださいますように。私たちは死への読みつつ、あなたと親しい関係を築くことで重要